It had to take people to die. Property to be destroyed. Protests across the country for the president to know the truth of what the people of Kenya feel. Yet, there is an organization paid for by the public to brief the president and the government about the feeling of the Kenyan people. Officers of the National Intelligence Service, have, of officers of the National Police Service have told me in confidence they did not get advanced intelligence briefs about the man in the shoot of the protest. In El Doret, in Kericho, in Nairobi, in Gedurai, in Embu, in Nyeri. Since independence, there has been protests in, around parliament. Never have protesters invaded and gotten inside parliament. Senior officers have told me in confidence they did not have an advanced intelligence brief about the intensity of the protests so that they prepare in advance. The National Intelligence Service slept on the job. And the problem is simple. The Director General of the National Intelligence Service, Nurdin Haji, was a junior officer in the National Intelligence Service before he was appointed as DPP. When he was appointed to the office of the Director General, because of inferiority complex, he chased away all the people who were senior to him when he was in the service. They are for crippling the capacity of that service and making it dysfunctional. Three directors were chased away and reassigned to desk jobs in ministries across government. Thirteen assistant directors men and women with proven track record of intelligence collection and analysis were removed from the National Intelligence Service, leaving a shell under a clueless director general who has no capacity to run the organization. And that is why the security sector was caught off guard by the intensity, the anger of the Kenyan people, the agitation of the Kenyan people, the Leslians of the Kenyan people, had Nuruddin Hajj done his job, we will not be where we are today. He has no capacity. He is out of the country most of the time on business trips. The country is on his own. My boss president, William Uto, is exposed that he has to back down and admit that he has hurt the people of Kenya. Yet, this matter has been in public domain for the last two months. I want to say that Nudin Hajj must take responsibility for the deaths that occurred. He must take responsibility for the mayhem. He must take responsibility for failing President William Ruto. He must take responsibility for failing the government of the Republic of Kenya. He must take responsibility for failing the Kenyan nation by not doing his job and advising correctly. And he must do the honorable thing, not just take responsibility, but resign from that office and allow the president to pick a competent director general. I want to request President William Ruto to consider, as a matter of urgency, to recall the three directors who are removed from the service and the 13 assistant directors to come and help reconstruct the service and get sanity back to the National Intelligence Service to serve the president, the government, and the people of Kenya. President William Ruto deserves best, better. He deserves a director general who knows what he's doing. He deserves a national intelligence service that is effective and that can analyze situations and keep him and the government informed on what is going on. It is embarrassing to me as deputy president that it has taken protests, deaths, mayhem, destruction for the president to know the truth, yet there is an organization charged with that responsibility. I have publicly stated that under this administration, Kenyans are free to criticize the government without fear of reprisal and state agencies. This was a promise made by...